Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thanks. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will show you how to upload a profile image for a user and how you can resize the uh, profile image uh, to save some spaces. So we will be able to save the original file size, we resize it and save that as well and we save it to the database and we will make the connection between the image and the user inside our database as well. So you will, you will be able to resize your files on the fly when you save it. And we will also learn how to delete the old images on the server when the user uploads a new image. Okay, so let's just uh, log in into our application. Okay, so this is our dashboard. And if you click on the profile uh, menu, you can see our username, user email, and here is the user profile image section. There is no profile image uploaded yet. It's a brand new user. So let's uh, upload one user. So we can select the user image. And let's say this is our uh, selected image. We can see a preview. It's not uploaded yet. Uh, we just selected the image and we are seeing a preview of the image. We are using Vue.js uh, component to upload our image. Hit upload profile. And as you can see, we get redirected back to the profile page. And we have now uploaded image. And if you check our database, we have one entry now with the user ID one. And if we check our uh, project folder, if we go to the public folder images, we can see we have uploaded a original file size, which is 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel and the reduced file, which is 100 by 100. And if you check, it's basically exactly the same images in this case, because the original file was a uh, square, but the original file size is 400, uh, 744 kilobytes and the reused version is only 13 kilobytes so you can imp improve your uh, page load. So you are seeing the thumbnail now and if you would like to select one more image, a new image for yourself, let's say we want this image to get uploaded, This we want our new uh, profile image, uh, uh, this image, hit upload as you can see, we can see the uh, new image now, which is a thumbnail version. We still have only one database entry with the new values. And if you check, we deleted the previous image and we have the original and the cropped version as well. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Leave a like if it helps for you and let's start it. Okay, so let's just start to create this project. Uh, we will install a brand new Laravel 7 application. We all know how to do that. I will call my project user profile. You can call your whatever you want. You can call yours, uh, for example, blog. Okay, Laravel 7 application is created. So now let's enter to this new uh, application, CD user profile okay so we are inside this uh, folder now let's go to the laravel.com uh, click on front end front end scaffolding copy this composer require a laravel slash ui paste hit enter great that's done as well let's select this php artisan ui view dash dash out so we will have the authenticated scaffolding as well, paste. Okay, that's installed as well. Let's say npm install. It will install all our dependencies for this project. Okay, that's done as well. Let's npm run watch. So it will, it will comply, recomply our CSS and JS files. Okay, so let's go now to our local host uh, PHP MyAdmin and create a new database for our new project. I will call it same as our project name. User profile. 
hit create. Okay, so we have our database now. Let's open up our new project in uh, VS Code. Okay, add folder to workspace. Let's select user profile. Okay, now we have to edit the .env file. We have just created our brand new uh, database. So let's call it user profile and my uh, database username is root and I don't have password on my local machine. Okay, let's close this. I'm use autosave anyway, so that's why I don't have to save it every time I change something. Let's open up one more console and run a server for our new application. So php artisan serve, php artisan serve. Okay, so now we can open up on this address. Here you go, here is our brand new application. And we would like to upload a user image, user profile. So we need to create the database uh, for that uh, user profile as well. So let's go to the database migration. As you can see, we have the uh, user table, but we need one more table for our user profile image. And we will connect them together then with Laravel relationships. In order to do that, let's open up one more console. So basically at the moment we have three consoles. One of them is uh, doing the npm run watch, watching our CSS and JS files. The other one is running our server. And the third one, what we're gonna use now. So to create a model for our user profiles, let's type in php artisan make model. And let's call this model user profile. And we want to create the migration files, the controller for it, and the resources as well. So MCR. I used double dash MCR. Should works now. Okay, model created, migration created, controller created. Let's jump back to our VS Code. And as you can see, we have this user profile table now. So first of all, we will need a row for uh, our user ID. It will be an integer. It will be called user ID. And it will be unsigned. Okay, and we will need one table for our image path. So it will be a string. And one more table for our uh, thumbnail uh, image path. String again, thumbnail, and it will be nullable by default. Okay, so that's it for the user profile table. Now we have the user and the user profile table. Let's just uh, migrate these tables into our database. So jump back to this uh, and let's say PHP artisan migrate. Hit enter, check our database. Hit refresh, user profile. We have user and users profiles as well. With the user ID, image and thumbnail. Let's just register our first user. Click register, create a test user. Okay, so test user. Okay, so we are logged in now. If we check our database, we have one uh, user. And of course we don't have any user's profile image yet. Okay, so let's just create a basic layout for this user dashboard. Right, so we can close this migration files now. And we are logged in now and we are seeing the resources, views and the home.blade. 
So this is the front end page and this is the logged in dashboard page. So that's what we see. Basically, we can see only a card you are logged in. That's what we see. Okay, so I just delete this card body and I will copy it from the original project to speed this uh, development um, up for a bit. Okay, so I paste the card body back again. But now we have dashboard profile settings and uh, you will see how it looks like. If I hit refresh. Okay, I want to make it 100% width of the container. So change it to 12. So 12. Hit refresh. Okay, so we have dashboard and if we click on the profile, we haven't created the route yet to this profile. So that's why we get 404. So let's just create the uh, profile page. First of all, we need to create this slash profile route. So let's go to the route web, copy this line, paste it and change it to profile. I will use the home controller profile method. Name it to profile. Okay, now let's go to the home controller and create this profile method. So we need to go to the app, HTTP, controllers, home controller, and we will copy this part and create a profile method. And we would like to return a view profile. This view is, doesn't exist yet. But we will create this profile view now. So let's go down to the resources, views, right click on it, new file, and let's call it profile.blade.php. Hit enter. And again, we can copy it from the uh, home.blade. So again, I will only delete this uh, card body and copy it from my original project. Okay, so this is the card body I just copied. Because we are logged in, we have access to this out dot dot user. So we can grab the username and the user email address by this. So we don't have to do anything at all for that. Let's just see how does it looks like. Hit refresh. So now we should be able to click on profile. And now we are not able. And it's because I have a typo here. I can, I have to delete this page om so we need only profile so now it should work and yes it is working so we are getting the user name user email address and we have a button a clickable link here to upload an image it's not working yet but we are focusing on it now so when we click on this upload profile image we would like to have a form where we can able to select an image and upload it to our database and to our server and connect it to the user. So we have this user profile controller in our app HTTP controllers. And we want to do something in this create because we would like to create a new image to the user. We would like to save, but basically we would like to show a create uh, page to this uh, new image. It will be a form, Vue.js form anyway. To able to hit this method, we can do a new route. So if you go to the web dot, if you go to the routes, web.php, let's create a new route for our whole entire image upload thing. So it will be called user profile, just how we call the controller, user profile and instead of this get we will use resource okay and instead of home controller we would like to go to this uh, user profile controller and we don't need any method because it will be decided the Laravel will decided what method we would like to see and we can delete this name as well Okay, so route resources, user profile, user profile controller. Now, if you go back to the profile.blade.php inside the view folder, 
now we create this uh, href tag so we want to go to the route we will use this blade syntax double mustache here route and we want to go to this user profile route and if we're going there we would like to go to the create method so we need to say dot create let's just try it out if we go to the users profile controller let's just uh, return something we need to close it with a semicolon okay hit refresh click on this and we get hello so we would like to return a view and we would like to return a create view it has to be inside the quotes and this create uh, will be placed inside a folder called user profile dot so this is will be the folder users profile and this will be the file what we would like to return as a view so that's what we're gonna see so let's create this file and this uh, folder as well go to the resources views right click on use new folder and let's create this user profile folder hit enter right click on this new folder new file and let's create this create dot blade dot php okay and again i want exactly the same layout as we have at the home dashboard so let's copy it and paste it in here and again i will only change this uh, card body i copied from my existing project okay so basically that's it and if we would like to show our uh, form up uh, image upload form here it will be a view component so let's just say okay see how it works now so we have a dashboard we have a profile page image upload okay so we would like to show our image upload uh, component here so let's just create this component 